How well do you know the Cisco IOS? In this video and subsequent videos, I'm going to show you commands that hopefully you didn't know in the Cisco IOS. Some of these commands are based on the configuration fundamentals configuration guide from Cisco. This and other documents like it, which you can find on Cisco's website, show you the basics of Cisco IOS, such as context sensitive help, using regular expressions, continuing output at the more prompt, and other tips and tricks. But hopefully I'm gonna show you some more advanced stuff that you don't know. Please do me a favor, put a comment below this video and let me know when you've learned something. Because this is YouTube, please would you subscribe to my YouTube channel. Please would you like this video if you find it useful and please click on the bell to get notifications when I post a new video. Now let's talk about regular expressions. Regular expressions are used in many places in the Cisco IOS. I'm gonna use some show commands to show you what's possible with regular expressions. If I type show run pipe include, let's say I, that shows me lines in the running config that include I, such as configuration, there, 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 service, LMI, a whole bunch of eyes displayed in the configuration. But I could say only show me lines that begin with I. Carrot means beginning of line. Basic regular expression. So all of these lines in the output begin with I, as you can see over there. If I used something like include zero, that would show me all lines that contain a zero. So 100 over there, there, 101, etc. But if I say zero dollar, that shows me all lines that end in a zero. So there's the command. All these lines end in a zero. So caret is beginning of line, dollar is end of line. Now I could also do something like show me all lines that include 1.1. That dot is a single character. It doesn't just mean dot, it's any single character. So notice we have a match there, one zero one, because it's one something one. That's a match, that's a match, that's a match. So anything one something one matches. If I wanna explicitly match a dot, I use backslash to escape the special meaning of that character. So all of these lines include one dot one, as in an actual dot or period if you prefer. We've escaped the special meaning, so this line wouldn't display here, but it does display over there. Another regular expression is pipe. So show run pipe, that's different to the pipe that I'm using here, that pipe is an or. I wanna see all lines that include, and I need to add the include keyword there. I wanna see all lines that include EIJRP or OSPF. So two lines have those keywords. Let's do something like, show me all lines that include EIJRP or OSPF or network. And there you go. This line includes EIJRP, this line includes network, here's OSPF, there's network. I could specify something like BGP here. So show me all lines that include EIGRP or OSPF or network or BGP. And there you go, there's the output. Now you may think, okay, I know a better way of showing the output here. Don't lose sight of the fact that I'm trying to teach you regular expressions. And this is just an example of that. You can use them in many places. So show IP route, include 192 or 172. And again, I should put include here. So all these lines over here include either 192 or 172. So there's 172, here's 192, scroll down, here's all my 192 routes. You could do something like this, show run line number. This shows me line numbers in the running configuration. So show run line number, our running configuration is displayed 
but every line has a number associated with it. This is really useful if you're talking to someone else and you want to tell them to look at a specific line in the configuration, you can say, have a look at line number 167 or line number 172 or whatever by using the command show run line number. But we could do regular expressions here. So include, let's say, line number 173. So show run line number include 173. Now you need to be careful with that because if I type include two, that won't just show me line number two, it will show me any lines that include two. There's line two, but notice all these lines include two as well. So let's use a better example. Let's say include 100. Show me line number 100, but this will also show me other lines that include 100. So what I could do is use a underscore here, which says space, underscore is a space. So show me all lines that include space 100, and that's because there are spaces in the running config. So that shows me only line number 100. Now this configuration guide has a whole section talking about regular expressions. It tells you what a regular expression is, and then it gives you examples such as dot or period matching a single character, including white space, which I've demonstrated. We've got plus that matches one or more sequences of a character. Here's an interesting one that you may struggle with using on the Cisco IOS question mark. So on my router, if I type show run pipe include 650 and I try to use question mark, notice I'm prompted with help information. To make that work, press control V and then you'll be able to enter question mark to enter a regular expression. And that gives me output such as the following. So question mark, once again, is zero or one occurrence of the pattern. So I'm looking for 65 or 65 zero. So as an example, if I did this, that would match just 65,001, as you can see over there. But control V, question mark, that'll match 65,000 or 65,001 or 65,002. That's matching zero or one occurrence of this character. So again, regular expressions are really useful. I've shown you caret beginning of line, dollar end of line. I've also shown you underscore, which can match a space, but it can also match other characters as listed here on Cisco's website. You can spend a lot of time learning regular expressions and you can do really complex things with regular expressions. Let me know if you want me to create some more detailed videos about regular expressions, showing you how to do more complex operations using them. But I've given you a basic introduction to regular expressions in this video. Now, an interesting command on the Cisco IOS is show run all. This shows you the configuration with defaults. So if I type show run without that, I'll see non-default values in the configuration. So if I press spacebar once, twice, I can see interface loopback 100. But if I type show run all, I'm gonna see all the defaults, a whole bunch of stuff that I would typically not configure perhaps on a router, such as pad. When last did you configure pad? So spacebar once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and it's still going, and I haven't got to my interfaces yet. Now I've got my interface, interface loopback 100. There are many default commands. On an interface as an example, there's a whole bunch of defaults. Okay, so let's stop that and do this. Begin zero slash zero. So I'm gonna start at zero slash zero and that's actually showing me buffers. But notice now I'm at individual interfaces. So on an individual loopback interface, did you know all these commands are configured? Notice 
the long list of commands configured by default on a loopback interface. A lot of us would typically not configure those commands on a loopback. And the same would apply to, let's say, our gigabit interfaces. I'm going to use forward slash to filter to gigabit. See, here's our gigabit zero zero interface. Notice all those commands are configured on a gigabit interface. Many, many commands on that gigabit zero zero interface. And again, typically, this is all we're going to see in the running configuration. So show run all shows you all the defaults. If you want to see default commands on a interface or something else, that's the command to use. The default interface command allows you to reset the configuration of an interface. So if I looked at gigabit 02, that's the default configuration. If I made some changes on here, like switch port mode trunk, switch port trunk encapsulation dot one Q, because I have to specify an encapsulation first and then specify trunk. And I made any other kinds of changes. So show run interface gigabit two slash zero. My changes are shown. But if I say default interface gigabit two slash zero, the interface has been changed to its default configuration. So this is the configuration after I made the changes. Notice these are non default interface commands. When I reset the configuration of that interface, it's set to this configuration. So non default commands are removed off the interface. Now, if you're working on a remote device, one of the most useful commands that you can use is reload in or reload at. This allows you to save the configuration at a point. So I've saved the configuration now and the router will reload in 10 minutes unless I cancel the reload. So show reload shows us that the reload is scheduled in nine minutes. If I, for some reason, lock myself out of the router. So I'm telling to a remote router on the other side of the country or other side of the world. And I'll lock myself out of the router. The router will reload back to its saved configuration. So saved working configuration. And it means I don't have to phone someone to try and fix that router or drive there and try and fix it. So this is really useful if you tell anyone or SSHing to a remote device and you make a mistake and you lock yourself out of the router it will reload in this example in nine minutes. So you can go and have a coffee or something while you're waiting for it to reload and it'll be back to where it was. So reload is now in eight minutes. I can say reload cancel to cancel the reload. So shutdown has now been aborted. So in other words, if you make a change and it's successful, you can just cancel the reload. The reload command is a really useful command. You can reload at a specific time if you prefer. So reload in the evening, as an example, if you need to reload a device, let's say you've got a router that's running out of memory, there's a memory leak, there's some kind of issue on the iOS, and you're waiting for an update from Cisco, you might want to reload this route in the evening to reset memory utilization. Reload in, very useful. You can specify minutes or hours, minutes. Reload in 10, very useful. Okay, so there's some useful Cisco commands. Hopefully you've learned something. If you have, please like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, and please click on the bell to get notifications. I'm David Bumble, wanna wish you all the very best.